Good morning, everyone. My name is Arvind Kumar. I am from CC Data Science Branch. Today, I am going to talk about necessity of image transformation. Digital image processing system. In computer science, digital image processing uses algorithms to perform image processing on digital images, images to extract some useful information. Digital image processing has many advantages as compared to analog image processing. Wide range of algorithms can be applied to input data, which can avoid problems such as noise and signal distortion. During processing, as we know, images are defined in two dimensions. So DIP can be modeled which is nothing but digital image processing can be modeled in multidimensional systems. Purpose of image processing. The main purpose of digital image processing is divided into following five groups. Visualization, the object which are not visible, they are observed. Image sharpening and restoration. It is useful for better image resolution image retrieval and image of interest can be seen measurement of pattern in an image all the objects are measured image recognition recognition each object in an image can be distinguished following are the fundamental steps of image processing first the problem domain image gets acquisition then image enhancement image restoration color image processing, wavelength, multi-resolution processing, compression, morphological process, segmentation, representation and description, object recognition. These are all connected to the knowledge base. First, we'll know what is image acquisition. Image acquisition is the first step of fundamental steps of digital image processing. In this stage, an image is given in the digital form. Generally, in this stage, pre-processing such as scaling is done. Image enhancement. Image enhancement is simplest and most, most attractive area of digital image processing. In this stage, details which are not known or we can say that interesting features of an image highlighted such as brightness, contrast, etc. Image restoration. Image restoration is a stage in which the appearance of the image is improved. Color image processing. Color image processing is a famous area because it has increased the use of digital images on the internet. This includes color modeling, processing in a digital domain, etc. Wavelets and multi-resolution processing. In this stage, stage as image is represented in various degrees of resolution, images is divided into small regions of data comprehension and further pyramidal representation. Compression. Compression is a technique which is used for reducing the requirement of storing an image. It is very important stage because it is very necessary to compress data for internet use. Morphological processing. This stage deals with tools which are used for extracting the components of the image, which is useful in representation and description of shape. Segmentation. In this stage, an image is partitioned into its subjects. Segmentation is the most difficult task in digital image processing. It is a process which takes a lot of time for the successful solution of image problems which requires objects to identify individually. Representation and description. Representation and description follows the output of the segmentation stage. The output is raw pixel data, which has all points of the region itself. To transform how the raw data representation is the only solution, whereas description is used for extracting information to differentiate on class of objects from another. Object recognition. 
in this state, the label is assigned to the object, which is based on descriptors, knowledge base. Knowledge is a last stage in digital image processing. In this stage, important information of the image is located, which limits the searching processing. The knowledge base is very complex and the image database has a high resolution satellite. Image transformations. Image transformations typically involve the manipulation of multiple bands of data, whether from a single multispectral image or from two or more images of the same same area acquired in different times. That is multi-temporal image data. Either way, image transforms must generate new images from two or more sources which highlight particular features of properties of interest better than the original input image. Basic image transformations apply simple arithmetic operations to the image data. Image subtraction is often used to identify ch changes that have occurred between images collected on different dates. Typically, two images which have been geometrically registered are used with the pixel brightness values in one image being subtracted from the pixel values in the other, scaling the resultant image by adding a constant of 127 in this case to the output values will result in a suitable different image. In such an image areas where it has less been little or no change between the original images will have resultant brightness values around 127. Mid gray tones. Well, those are very significant changes have been occurred. B will have values higher than or lower than 127, brighter or darker depending on the direction of change in refraction tense between the two images. This type of image transform can be useful for mapping changes in urban development around cities and for identifying areas where deforestation is occurring, as in this example. Image division or spectral rationing is one of the most common transforms applied to the image to the data. Image rationing server serves to highlight subtle variations in the spectral responses of various surface covers. By rationing the data from two different spectral bands, the resultant image enhances variations in the slopes of the spectral reflectance curves between two different spectral ranges. That may otherwise be masked by the pixel brightness variations. In each of the bands, the following example illustrates the concept of spectral rationing, healthy vegetation reflects strongly in the near infrared portion of the spectrum while observing strongly in the visible red. Other surface types such as soil and water shown near equal reflectances in both the near infrared and red portions. Thus the ratio image of Landsat MSS band 7 divided by band 5 would result in ratios much greater than 1.0 for vegetation and ratios about 1.0 for soil and water. Thus, discrimination of vegetables from other surface covers types is significantly enhanced. Also, we may be better able to identify areas of unhealthy or stressed vegetation, which shows low near infrared reflectance and has the ratios would be lower than per healthy green vegetation. Another benefit of spectral rationing is that because we are looking at re 
relative values that is ratios instead of absolute brightness values variations in scenes illuminations as a result of topographic effects and reduced thus although the absolute reflectances for forest covered slopes may vary depending on their orientation relative to the sun's illumination the ratio of reflectance between the two bands should always be very similar. More complex ratios involving in sums of difference between spectral bands for various sensors have been developed for monitoring vegetation conditions. One widely used image transformation is the Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, NDVI, which has been used to monitor vegetation conditions on continental and global scales using advanced very high resolutions radiometer kv hwr sensors on board to NOAA series of satellites image transformation an image is obtained in spatial coordinates x y or x y z that is 2d or 3d there are many advantages if the spatial domain image is transformed into Another domain in which solution of a problem can be found easily. Following are two types of transformations. Fourier transform. Fourier transform is mainly used for image processing. In Fourier transform, the intensity of image is transformed into frequency variations and then to the frequency domain. It is used for slow vary intensity images such as the background of passport size photo can be represented as low frequency component and the edge can be represented as high frequency components. Low frequency components can be removed using filters of FT domain. When an image is filtered in FT domain, it contains only the edges of the image and if the will do inverse FT domain to spatial domain then also image contains only edges Fourier transform is the simplest technique in which edges of an image can be found. In two-dimensional formula, we use this formula for finding the outlines of the image. This is matrix notation. Properties of Fourier transformations are as follows. Symmetric unitary, periodic extension, sampled Fourier, past conjugate symmetry, circular convolution. Here the white images, white light is the sharp backgrounds of the image and the dark are the background image. These are some blurred images where the center point denotes the outlines of the image. And in blurred image, the intensity is low. So the color of the black, color of the Background is shown in dark color. Discrete consign transformation, DCT. The discrete consign transformation coefficients carry information about the pixels of the image. Also, much information is contained using very few coefficients. And the remaining coefficients contains minimal information. These coefficients can be removed without losing information. By doing this, the file size is reduced in the DCT domain. DCT is used for lossy compression. This is a formula for one dimensional discrete cosine transformation. It converts into cosine function. We have two dimensional cosine transformation function. Properties of discrete cos cosine transformation are as follows real or orthogonal not real part of dft fast transform excellent energy competency high correlated data example this is the fourier transform image where the fourier transformation is used fourier transform is used for edge detection discrete cosine transform is used for image compression thank you